In this video, we're going to talk about population calculations. So there's a couple types we're going to look at, and they include population density, crude birth rate, crude death rate, and we're going to look at how those impact the population growth rate, and we're also going to take a look at doubling time for a given population. So the first one we're going to look at is population density, which is simply put the population divided by the area over which it's distributed. So just like any other density equation, it's the amount of stuff in a given amount of space, um, since we're talking about individuals, we're going to use population for this. So there's two practice problems right here. So if you want to pause now and try them before I go over the answers, feel free to. But in the first problem, we're given a, um, a quantity of people living in Los Angeles and the area over which that population is dispersed. So uh, we're going to calculate the density of that. And then in the second equation, our second problem, we're going to look at the um, calculate the population of Chicago using the density and the area of the population. So for the first one, the density, you just simply plug in the 4 million people that live in Los Angeles and divide that by the 400,000 square kilometers over which they're distributed. And you would have 10 people per square kilometer. In the second equation, um, since you're given the area and you're given the density, you should start with the area because that's something that's not in a relationship. Density is a relationship between um, the people and the area. So whenever you do in dimensional analysis and you have something that's not in a relationship, that should be your starting point. So you can see here that when you multiply the 200,000 square kilometers by the 100 people per square kilometer, you would get a population of 20 million people. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the crude birth rate and the crude death rate. So they can be calculated in two ways, um, or birth rates and death rates. When we say crude birth rate, we're looking at basically the total number of births divided by the total population, and then you multiply it by a thousand. Okay, so it's essentially births per thousand people within a given population. Kind of like percent is like per 100, cent meaning 100. This is the crude birth rate is just looking at it in terms of per thousand people. And same thing with the death rates. You can also calculate them as percentages. So you find the fraction of the population that is birth. So birth divided by the total population. And instead of multiplying by a thousand this time, you simply multiply by a hundred. So in these next two problems, you're going to calculate the crude birth rate for number three and crude death rate for number four. And I'm also going to show you how to calculate it as a percentage. So you can see that I've done that here. So for crude birth rate, 300 births over 1800 individuals times a thousand, and you get 166 births for every 1,000 individuals. For the crude death rate, you had 20 deaths out of 2,000 individuals. So you multiply that by 1,000, and you'd get 10 deaths for every 1,000 individuals. All right, so as a percentage, um, you just simply divide the births by the total population, multiply by 100, and you'd find that there's a 16.6% uh, birth rate. And for the death rate, you would say there would be 20 out of 2,000 times 100, which would give you 1%. Okay, so we can use these birth and death rates to calculate population growth rates. And there's a few different ways we're going to look at that. The simple equation that you will often see doesn't include immigration or emigration. Okay, and that to calculate the population growth rate with that as a percentage, um, you would simply subtract the crude death rate from the crude birth rate and divide by 10. Because percentages are out of 100, the crude values are out of 1,000, so you have to divide by 10 to get that. Now, keep in mind what you would get for uh, value here is not what you can plug directly into the exponential growth equation. This is as a percentage, so you would have to convert that to a decimal by further dividing by 100 or moving the decimal two places to the left. If you are including immigration and emigration, you need to add um, the crude immigration to the crude birth rate. And then when you're subtracting the crude death rate, you also have to include the crude emigration there. And you would still divide by 10 as when you're looking at crude, it's out of a thousand. So to get a percentage, um, you have to divide that by a 10. All right, so when it says crude immig immigration or emigration rate, you're looking at either individuals that have come in through immigration or have left through emigration divided by the po total population and then times a thousand. The other way you can look at it is you can just divide the births and immigration minus the deaths and emigration and you divide that by the total population and you divide by the number of years over which that's applied. Um, and then again, in order to represent, um, since this would be presented as a decimal, if you use this version of it, you would have to multiply R by 100 to 